Every year, around 100 billion packages of instant noodles are consumed worldwide, equivalent to almost 13 packages for every person on the planet. But how does wheat flour transform into a hot bowl of delicious noodles? Discover the fascinating world behind your favorite instant noodles. Have you ever paused while enjoying that comforting bowl of instant noodles to wonder how they got there? In reality, that humble noodle block is the result of a fascinating production process. In instant noodle factories, a perfect choreography of cutting-edge machinery and artisanal skill unfolds to create the quick and delicious food you enjoy. This convenient and fast food transforms from a dry block into a comforting soup in a matter of minutes. It was recognized as the greatest Japanese invention of the 20th century, and it's no wonder, as it has saved many students and busy individuals from hunger when time is scarce. The inventor of instant noodles, Momofuku Ando, was inspired to create this food after seeing people lining up for a bowl of ramen noodles during post-war Japan. His idea was to offer nutritious, easy to prepare, and accessible food that could help alleviate hunger in challenging times. It all begins with the raw material, wheat flour, this is loaded into large industrial mixers that work tirelessly, processing tons of flour per day. The flour is mixed with water and salt, creating an elastic and resilient dough essential for the future noodles. This is a carefully calibrated process, where the right balance of moisture is crucial for the noodles to maintain their shape and texture. After kneading, the dough is left to rest for a specified period. This resting time allows the gluten to relax and the dough becomes more pliable facilitating the subsequent rolling and cutting process. Once the perfect dough is obtained, it passes through a series of rollers that flatten it to the desired thickness. The dough, initially thicker than your arm, turns into a thin sheet thinner than rice paper. This process not only determines the final thickness of the noodles, but also contributes to their unique texture. Passing through the rollers helps develop gluten in the flour, imparting the noodles with their characteristic elasticity. As the dough is repeatedly passed through the rollers, it stretches and thins until it reaches the appropriate thickness for instant noodles. Now transformed into a thin sheet, the dough heads to cutting machines where it is cut into noodles. This process, though seemingly simple, is a turning point in instant noodle manufacturing. This is where the length and width of the noodles are defined. Each cutter is equipped with an array of blades that can be adjusted to produce noodles of various shapes and sizes, from the thin threads of ramen soup to the wider, flatter noodles of pasta. Depending on the type of instant noodle being produced, the cutting machine may have different blade configurations to create specific shapes. After cutting, the noodles are not yet ready for the soup. The noodles are separated and collected on trays or conveyors. At this stage, a starch or talcum coating may be applied to prevent the noodles from sticking together. In reality, they are too wet and soft to withstand pantry storage. To remedy this, the noodles go through a steaming process where they are steam cooked at a high temperature, helping to develop their final flavor and texture. Next, they undergo a quick frying process that extracts moisture and makes them crispy, facilitating long-term storage. This rapid cooking process aims to stabilize the structure of the noodles and remove excess surface starch. The pre-cooking temperature and time may vary depending on the manufacturer and the type of instant noodles being produced. After pre-cooking, the noodles undergo a rinsing process with cold water to stop the cooking and reduce their temperature. This helps maintain the right texture of the noodles and prevents them from becoming mushy. Once the noodles are rinsed and cooled, they are drained to remove excess water. The noodles go through a drying process to eliminate the remaining moisture. This process can be done through air drying or by using controlled hot air. In the case of air drying, the noodles are placed in areas with good air circulation to allow moisture to evaporate gradually. During the drying process, the temperature and time are carefully controlled to avoid overheating or insufficient drying of the noodles. The result is that familiar block of dry and compact noodles, ready to be revived with a bit of hot water. An intriguing part of the process is the formation of noodle blocks. After steaming and frying, the noodles are placed in molds that give them their characteristic square or circular shape, typical of instant noodles as we know them. These steps make up only half of the journey that the noodles go through before reaching your bowl. Each process is designed with the precision of a well-rehearsed orchestra, ensuring that each noodle package offers the same satisfying experience. But what happens after the noodles are dry and ready to be packaged? The answer lies in the seasonings and condiments that give each bowl of instant noodles its unique flavor and personality. 
While the noodle block remains essentially the same in each brand, the broth and seasonings are what make each package different. Instant noodle broths can be diverse, ranging from classic chicken broth to rich and spicy variations. Each broth is prepared separately in huge cauldrons that can hold up to thousands of liters of soup at a time. Spices, aromatic ingredients, and proteins are slow cooked together, resulting in a rich and concentrated liquid that is later dehydrated and turned into powder. These dry seasonings not only add flavor, but also texture and color to the final soup, making each bowl a feast for the senses. Once the broths and seasonings are ready, it's time to package them along with the noodles. The noodle blocks, powdered broth, and dry seasonings are placed together in individual packages. This not only keeps all components together, but also ensures the freshness of the ingredients. Once packaged, the noodles are ready to be shipped to stalls around the world, waiting for the moment when someone adds them to a cup of hot water, bringing them back to life. So the next time you sit down to enjoy a bowl of instant noodles, remember the incredible journey they have taken from the flour mill to your cup. And of course, don't forget to appreciate the marvel of science and engineering that make this culinary miracle possible. The design of instant noodle packaging is not only aesthetically pleasing, but also functional. The inner aluminum foil keeps the noodles fresh and protected from light, moisture, and microorganisms. Some packages are designed to serve as a temporary bowl, allowing the preparation and consumption of noodles in the same package, ensuring that each instant noodle package reaches you in perfect condition. Companies implement rigorous quality controls, products undergo strength tests, visual inspections, and most importantly, taste tests. A team of expert tasters tests each batch of noodles and broths to ensure they meet taste expectations. Now, despite their convenience and popularity, it is also true that instant noodles have been criticized for their sodium levels and trans fat content. In this regard, the industry has worked to reduce salt content and eliminate trans fats from their products. Some brands have launched lines of noodles with lower sodium content, more fiber, and gluten-free versions. Thus, instant noodles evolved to adapt to the changing needs and demands of consumers without giving up their essence of being a quick and easy-to-prepare meal. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it and share it with someone else who might find it interesting. Also, subscribe to this channel by enabling notifications to keep learning. Greetings.